Well, with our climate in North Dakota, it's a pretty known fact that our cattle need some protection during the winter. And traditionally, we've done that over time with uh, trees and shelter belts, uh, probably some buildings, uh, uh, windbreak fences uh, that are permanently installed. And uh, those are all great options. Uh, but something new that's uh, started to show up is portable windbreaks. And uh, they've, they've been gaining in popularity. And there's uh, a number of advantages to having portable windbreaks. Uh, if you want to keep your cattle out in the fall and winter, do some grazing out on maybe some cropland or even some winter pasture, uh, you might not have shelter out there, and a portable windbreak fence like this can, can be pretty helpful in that. Another advantage, uh, uh, you can winter them in an area like this, and then when calving starts, uh, these cattle that are here will be moved over into a spot where uh, livestock haven't been since last spring. Uh, these windbreaks will be picked up and moved. Uh, another thing about uh, with the windbreaks, uh, you can uh, change the distribution of your manure scattered around by moving the windbreaks. And uh, at calving time, you can also do that, it might help with some disease problems. Well, there's a, lots of different outfits that are building windbreak panels. Uh, they advertise in the farm papers, and there's also uh, places that sell all kinds of materials uh, if you care to build your own. Most farmers and ranchers have welders, cut and torch, uh, so you can pretty well go with uh, what you have and just check those ads, several places that sell the stuff. If you want a, a good strong design uh, for these things, these are built out of oil field pipe, which uh, uh, quite a bit of that on the market right now. And uh, the base of them should be about one and a half times the height to give them some uh, strength and and make sure they won't tip over in the wind. It's best to have two uh, fastened together with uh, chains. It gives them some added support and uh, helps with uh, when the wind's from different directions as far as sheltering cattle. Um, ideally, a windbreak should have 20 to 30 percent porosity or space between panels or boards. Uh, gives the most protection. That will give you protection uh, 8 to 10 uh, times the height of the, the panel. And as I said, these are built out of a, a 2 and 3 8 oil field pipe and uh, a saddle notch like this uh, is much stronger than some that are flattened and then welded together. And uh, you can make a little template out of, this is a cardboard uh, mailing tube and you just put that on the pipe. Uh, make your mark with chalk. It gives you guidelines to, to put them together or to run your cut through. Now as far as the, the framework, as I mentioned, uh, the oil field pipe uh, pretty readily available. Some of the panels are built with square tubing. Uh, some people use uh, a wood slots here and uh, guardrail. Guardrail is pretty heavy. You make some really strong heavy duty ones. Uh, sheet metal. This is called B decking and I would suggest anywhere from 18 to 22 gauge if you use regular uh, roof panel I don't believe that's strong enough and, and cattle will damage it. These uh, screws will go right through the square tubing or oil field pipe. They're the self tapping kind. Uh, uh, pretty, pretty durable. Uh, work really well. Oh. As cattle operations have gotten bigger, uh, people are wintering cattle out uh, from the yards more, a uh, chance to get the manure spread out, uh, make use of some of that uh, late fall grazing. Uh, these portable windbreak panels are something that uh, uh, can help uh, remedy some of those problems that you encounter.